in the name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarim Sud. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make the channel a grand success. We are family, a partner. Please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert our challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Thank you very much for your patience time. Today I am going to discuss my lecture number R2 on normal shutdown procedure of FCC unit fluid cathartic cracking unit. Before my lecture I used to read a Quranic verse. Kala Rabbi Shrahali Sadri Vaya Sarali Amri Wahlalo Pukadatam Melisani Yakkao Kauli Allahumma Rabbi Zidni Ilma. O oh my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me and a loose or not from my tongue that they may understand my saying. Allahumma Rabbi Zidni Ilma, O oh Allah, advance me in my knowledge and true understanding. Okay. Okay. Fluid catalytic cracking abscess unit lecture number two normal shutdown procedure. Normal shutdown procedure key takeaway points. In my earlier lecture, we have already discussed reactor, regenerator, and fractionation section. Today we are going to discuss gas concentration section. Before gas concentration section, we will recap few atoms from my earlier lectures. During scheduled shutdown, the catalyst sections and a main column exchanger circuits will usually be inspected and cleaned depending on the work to be done. The main column might have to be water washed for entry. The gas concentration sections equipment is pumped out and purged with steam. If the columns are to be entered, they too must be water washed. Precautions must be taken that the reactor has been cooled sufficiently before the allowing air to enter the vessel. This is done to guard against the possibility of auto ignitions of any hot coke deposits in the reactor or its vapor line. The vessel should be cooled below 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degree F, as measured at the upper reactors before any manway or nozzles are opened. Riser or stripper steams can be used as an add in cooling the vessels as required. Okay, number one, notify the tank farm or blending station that the FCC unit is coming off steam and that the product quality and quantity will be decreasing. Number two, Begin slowly lowering the reactor temperatures to 480 degrees Celsius. At the same time, I begin decreasing the heavy naphtha and LCO product flows. This will make the main column bottom materials lighter, adding the flushing or the bottom circuit. When it is felt, the reactor and main column are hydrocarbon free. Decrease the risers and main color or bottom steam flow until only a trace is showing at the drain located at the reactor vapor line blind. Remove the blind in the reactor vapor line vent and install a blind in the main column inlet. After the main column inlet blind is installed, shut down the main air blower if the regenerator temperature are below 150 degree Celsius or 300 degree F. Shut off steam to the risers after the blower is shut down and the reactor temperatures are below 150 degree C. Once the main column inlet blind is installed, increase steam to the column bottoms and steam to atmosphere for 1 to 2 more hours. Drain condensate from the bottom of the reactor's vapors line vent. Next, Connect steam hose and steam out all pumps around circuits or drain condensate at low points. When the steam out is completed, be sure vent and drains are fully opened before shutting steam off to avoid a pulling a vacuum. Okay. When the main column top 
temperature cools to 40 degrees Celsius, 100 degree F or less, tie in and start a plant water to the main column, reflex pump sections, fill the overhead receiver, then start the reflex pump and send water to the top of the column. Drain the column bottom and low points. When water flushing is complete, blind work required for entry. Next, when the gas concentration unit columns are empty steam of the unit as required as with the main column those gas concentration columns which will be open for entry and work shall be water flushed after steam okay when the unit is steamed out open manuals to ventilate and cool the vessels for entry note that when the reactor and the regenerator are entered the cyclone or dip pipes will contain some hot cactus trapped by their flapper walls. Okay. Gas concentration sections. Today we are going to discuss a general procedure is written to cover a normal planned shutdown as would be required for periodical inspection of the equipment in the unit. Okay. As the feed to the reactor horizon is being reduced, the gases of feed to gas concentration section will go down immediately. Okay, shut down the operating sponge absorber, a lean oil pump, and pressure the rich oil remaining in the sponge absorber to the main column. When the charge has been removed from the reactor rises, shut down the wet gas compressor close the first stage section and first stage a spillback wells. Number four, stop the wash water injection and shut down the pump, block in a flow control valves in the wash water line. Pump the liquid in the interstage receiver or to the high pressure receiver, then shut down and block in interstage condensate pump. Number six, block in high pressure receiver water about interface level control wells. Number seven, close the block wells in the condensate line from the steeper reboiler and the circulating light cycle oil from the deboutonized feed preheat. Okay, number eight, when there is no longer a flow of unstabilized gasoline up from the main column receiver, pump the remaining liquid in the primary absorber or to the high pressure receiver opening the bypass around a primary absorber level control wells as required a shut down the a primary absorber intercooler of pumps and the operating a primary absorber of bottom pump as well. Okay. Pressure the liquid remaining in the bottom of the high pressure receiver or to the steeper column. Pressure the liquid remaining in the high pressure receiver water or boot back to the main column overhead line using the bypass around the water boat interface levels control wells, then close the bypass. Number 10. Pressure the liquid in the bottom of steeper column and the steeper reboiler or to deboutonizer are using the bypass around steeper bottoms level flow control wells. Number 11. Open the Amine absorber a pressure control well, bypass and slowly depressurize the absorber sections or to the fuel gas system. When the vessel has been depressurized or to the pressure level of the fuel gas system, close the bypass and depressurize the gas remaining in the suction to the flare. Number 12. Close the remaining suction and discharge block walls at the wet gas compressors also close the remaining spillback control valves. Purge the compressor with nitrogen according to the manufacturer recommendation. When the flow of the liquid from the steeper column begins to drop off, short of heat or to the deboutonizer reboiler, pressure the remaining liquid from the deboutonizer bottoms to off-spec storage facilities and block in deboutonizer bottom level control valve. Pump out the deboutonizer overhead receiver and then shut down and block in overhead pumps, depressurize the column to the flare. 
Shut down the NAFTA splitter are using a procedure similar to those used to shut down the deboton ashes. Drain all the remaining hydrocarbon in the low point strain drum. Shut off the cooling water to all water cool exchangers. Open vents at the top of the columns and thoroughly steamed out all columns. Receivers re drain all low spots in the sphere. When all the equipment has been thoroughly steamed out and drained, open are required for the inspection. Okay. Okay. Next page is a con conclusion. We have discussed step by step gas concentration section. Normal shutdown procedure. My next topic will be emergency shutdown procedure of FCC unit. Okay. These are a few references here. Everyone achieve more. Please do not hesitate. Send me your feedback. Comments g.masood.dr at box.edu. Thank you very much for your precious time. Please stay at home. Stay safe and inspired. Thank you very much.